Good morning, Algebra 1. Oh, sitting here, still getting woke up. It's about 8.50. Bright, sunny day. Get out here and enjoy it if you can. Here I've got me and my buddy Gunny. Hi, Gunny. Hi, uh, bud. Yeah, he's getting all gray in the face. He's getting old. He's uh, got a scrape on his leg that he keeps licking, so I'm in here playing police officer, telling him, don't lick. Don't lick. So that's why he's here with me today. He always goes in with me to upload videos. Pretty soon we get to go for a ride. Yeah. Yeah. He gets so excited when I say the word ride, don't you? Do you want to go for a ride later? Huh? Yeah. We'll go for a ride later. Yeah. Now he's going to be all, all excited for the next 20 minutes. Okay? Stuff I do for you guys. Jeez. Okay. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's take a look and see if maybe that'll work for what I wanted to start with today then. Okay. So, I don't have a printout of the um, worksheet, so I thought I would just take a look at somebody's that they did a really nice job. Okay. So, this was... Um, this was actually SIDS. I just loved the pictures from you folks yesterday, especially those that had your brothers and sisters in the background. <laughs> Petersons were great. Lane was not available, but they found a way to put Lane in the background. It was awesome. I just loved those pictures yesterday. Got to see how excited Daisy Nelson is to be back at home and spend extra time with her with her uh, sister Chaney. They just have such a loving relationship. I just love it. Um, so, um, you know, so Daisy was, was just didn't want to go back to college, but you know, this virus just made her day and let her spend some more time with her family and her sisters and her brother as well. Okay. So anyway, so here's what we have. Some of them open up, some of them open down. Remember there's a, there's reasons for why they open up and why they open down. So let's review those here real quick. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and zoom back out here. Okay, and let's see where are we at. Okay, this camera is really worth every every penny of the five hundred bucks we spent for it. Okay, so remember we've got this equation y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. Every single one of those you will ever graph is a parabola, and I will talk tomorrow about the specific traits of a parabola. Okay. Um, so this right here, remember from yesterday, that's my y-intercept. You know, if you look back at your worksheets, you'd be like, hey, yeah, that is my y-intercept. And remember, why is it my y-intercept? Your y-intercept is always x equals zero something. So if I plug in zero, wipes that term out. Plug in zero, wipes that term out. And the only thing I have left is c. c is the only thing that survives. On any polynomial, c is going to be your y-intercept. Okay? This b... I really can't get into it too specifically, but it has some impact on whether it moves to the right or to the left. But the problem is if that B is two, it might move to the left, it might move to the right, depending on what the value of A is. So B, we can't tell directly what's gonna happen, but, um, but it kind of, that, that's basically what it impacts. A, remember that A impacts whether it opens up or down, whether it's skinny or wide. Let's review that real quick. So if A is greater than zero, it opens up. If A is less than zero, it opens down, okay? If A is greater than one, and I'm gonna say the absolute value of A is greater than one, because I could have something like two X squared or a negative two X squared, and both those are skinny and tall, okay? Skinny or tall, you can think of it that way. Like this one's gonna be twice as tall. We're going to go up twice as much each time. So this one, the absolute value of A is less than 1. So like 1 half X squared or negative 1 half X squared, they're both going to be wide and short. Okay. Um, so, and for me, it's kind of weird. I have now these traits, tall and wide. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, you know, some people call them the freshman 15, the 15 pounds you gain when you go to college. Well, I wonder if I'm going to experience the COVID-19. Uh, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so, what do I have that I want to look at today? 
I want to take a look at a couple graphs and make sure that we can sneak our way back in the book today. And they're going to ask you all different sorts of questions. Let's say if I've got this graph that looks like this. Oh, it's actually not too bad a looking parabola. Okay. Let's say this is 4, negative 3. And let's say this is 5. Okay. They're going to ask you lots of different things. They're going to ask you what is the axis of symmetry? Well, the axis of symmetry is a line, okay? The axis of symmetry is this line right here. And what is the equation of this line? Well, it hits the x-axis, it goes through 4, so the equation of axis of symmetry there is x equals 4. And the axis of symmetry, from what we learned yesterday, was x equals negative b over 2a, okay? So, they're going to ask you, what is my y-intercept? Well, in this case, very obviously, my y-intercept is 5, okay? They don't have an equation for this one. Some of these are going to have equations, some of them they don't. But remember that my y-intercept is always my c, okay? Um, so then, what do we have? Um, another thing, domain and my range. Domain is what values of x can I plug in, or what values of x were used in my graphs? Well, if we take a look at it, what values of x were used? Well, that values of x is used up there, that value of x is used up there, that value of x is used down here, that value of x is used. All these values of x are used. No matter where it's at, all those values of x were used. So my domain is always going to be all real numbers for parabolas. Always. Okay? My range is what values of y were used. Well, this one is restricted, okay? If I would take a look at this and I would go and squish it all down, what, 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 where, would the, where would the gook and the bloods and guts be on my y-axis? Well, it would be from there on up because those are the only y's that got used. Remember, okay, I got the green alien blood or something on the middle. Okay, so my range is going to be in this case, y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Now, why is that? Well, this in this case, I had a minimum value of negative 3, and it occurs at x equals 4. Okay, this one had a minimum. Anything that opens up is going to have a minimum. If we have something that opens down, we'll do another one here in just a second. Um, okay. Then it's going to have a maximum. Okay. So, axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. Um, that's a line. X equals whatever your x coordinate or your vertex is. Y intercept, you can see my domain and range. Got it. We'll practice this one more time. So say this is um, 2, 5, okay, and this is 3. Well, let's go through it real quick. My axis of symmetry is x equals 2. Why? Because it's 2 over everything on the right side is the same, is, is, uh, the same as everything on the left side. They could fold them over. They match up, okay? My y-intercept, duh, is 3. Okay, and my domain, remember, is always all real numbers, and my range is, this case, is what values were used from here on down. So y is less than or equal to 5. Okay, does this one have a maximum or a minimum? This one has a max of 5 at x equals 2. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we are going to do what assignment I actually had picked out for yesterday. Um, um, we're going to do page 550. We're going to do 31. Let's go through. I'm going to shorten this up from what I had because we already covered some of these skills yesterday. Um, through 47 odd. Okay. Now, on some of these, you don't have to graph those yet. You don't have to graph them at all. 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Okay? So let's go um, 53. And 55. Okay, those are actually all going to go pretty well. And let's go ahead and tackle the ACT review today. 75 through 78. So there we go. Now remember, I want you accessing through Canvas. Try and hand everything in through Canvas if you can. Okay. Um, if you have any questions you want me to answer right away, um, go ahead and text me and text me a picture of the problem. Um, and then um, no assignment today. Ex you know, nothing to hand in, but you want, I want you to do this. Make sure you stay up with us. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to be friendly with you. This video is only 10 minutes long. If you spend 40 minutes on this, perfect. Okay. Have a great day, folks. See you tomorrow.